It will be vibrant, it will be different, they say, and it will hit your screen on Ichahauna Halloween night next. Telefish Nagailga will be the country's first new homegrown TV channel since the launch of RTE2, now Network 2, 18 years ago in 1978. Behind the scenes, 20 independent production companies are already at work putting programmes like these in the can. I think that what it will do is show people that there is another voice in Ireland which uh, perhaps they haven't heard before. It will show them an energy and the diversity of programming and opinion in Irish that I hope will surprise them and which will attract uh, substantial audiences. The government is to put up £10 million a year towards the running costs of Telefish na Gaeilge. RTE is being asked to provide one hour's programming, including a new service per day. The minister says this should cost £5 million. He says RTE tells him it could cost as much as £7 million. And turning the sod for the station's new £2 million headquarters in Connemara this afternoon, the minister trenchantly defended public spending on the new service. I reject the notion that the future of broadcasting or film or anything else in this area should be decided solely by market criteria. That would be disastrous for this country and it would be an offence for all those who believe in national self-respect and the future of the country. If you think of it another way, I, I looked at one journal that suggested that we, at the turn of the century we, we'll have a choice of hundreds of channels on television. Wouldn't it be quite extraordinary if not one of those could be one that would deal with the Irish language? Do I feel so, so, so.